Welcome to the 164th edition of Make Pro Wrestling Majestic Again, number two, because Peanut Gallery's eye was weird. I am still your champion, Tiger Height, with some bullshit. Yes, it was a lot of bullshit. It was a lot of bullshit. But let's get into the drama, because we have a lot of it, and some of it involves yours truly. First, Soft Ground Wrestling. Uh, we kind of touched upon it that, oh, there are no African wrestlers. Well, here's the problem. I can only name off the top of my head three. Yeah. And and none of well besides oh but Femi being, you know, in like a champion, but he's not he a just, champion in the WWE. This this is the team. yeah, this is the poster for Royal, Royal Rumble. Rumble. It's not like Oba Femi's on the main roster. I understand what Soft Ground was trying to get at here, but, but they haven't been relevant for Well, because they were exposed yeah. for all of this dubious crap yeah. and they're essentially dead in the water. Yeah. Um, but I can't believe somebody is still trying to use this platform, mm -hmm. like uh, Soft Ground Wrestling as an organization. Yeah. Uh Dave Meltzer rumors that he has four percent stake in the company. And in our last part, we had a discussion regarding this that Dave Meltzer is not a person who might have a ton of money, mm -hmm. but maybe Tony Khan promised him the stake in the organization for because of his reputation. Right, which is, is not good. <laughs> no, <laughs> not it, anymore. Well, this, this would be extremely bad mm -hmm. um, on many levels. This would, th this is, would be illegal yep. in every certain court. Like, Tony Khan would be absolutely annihilated in court yep. if they actually could prove that Dave Meltzer has stake in this company. It, it would be fine mm -hmm. if he was just a rich weirdo, but he is wrestling journalism. Yeah, he he, he, can, he controls essentially a big portion of the narrative. Mm -hmm. This would be an enormous enormous conflict of interest yes. if this is true because it would it would it would kill all of his credibility well not only kill his credibility it would be illegal yeah. because he he is directly involved with the news mm -hmm. it's like if donald trump invested in fox mm -hmm. that would be an enormous conflict of interest mm -hmm. because that's why he had to give up his his uh, seats on the boards that he was on and everything when like he was that. when right. he was president because that would be an enormous um, conflict. conflict of interest yeah. now once again we have no idea, mm -hmm. but that was a rumor going around. Yeah. I'm going to tend to believe it because it makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Peanut Gallery, can you uh, speak for himself regarding the rumor? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure yet. No, you're not sure yet? No. I want to see some hardcore I evidence. Wanna, yeah, I want to see some facts. But that's why it's on the drama portion because right. that, that was a rumor that's been going around starting this week. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to touch upon it. Oh, and then this is sort of how he covered these. Um, a bunch of excuses on one end. The other one is like, oh, it was the debut show. We have to wait right. a couple of weeks. Uh, it's they're they're valid points, but the 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 the, the um the, the um uh absolute hypocrisy is showing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, the favoritism is one hundred percent showing. How about you say that the fifth anniversary of AEW was a bad show yeah. because it wasn't a good show? No, there were, there were. AEW diehards that were saying that WWE beat AEW pretty much across the board yep. this week on Raw, NXT, and on SmackDown. Mm -hmm. And all three of those shows were very good. I wanted to show more numbers because I know uh, people within AEW just hate numbers. Yeah. Um, but let's just, this is just the um, representation regarding uh, if you want to say a winner, mm -hmm. this is essentially a reflection on what's winning right mm -hmm. now. Uh, in the amount, I mean, two one hundred twenty six dollars per mm -hmm. share. That's a lot of money mm -hmm. for per share. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Now, if I was a bed man, I would actually put money into Warner's Brothers Discovery right now because they're about to launch that gigantic sports app yep. with Fox and everything, yeah. and you know that's going to bump that up. So I recommend doing that. Uh, more sources. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, pretty much a numbers breakdown regarding this. Yeah. Um, I do not believe the new numbers coming out from Melter saying it was 180 million. Every credible place like Variety, I think Fox covered it. Yeah, they every, said, everyone said it was 150 million. I'm going to say it's 150 million. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, once again, it's not a great number. It's really not. You're like, well, they have an extension. It's a three year extension. Right. That should be worrying. Uh, because that's essentially, you have three years to churn this shit around because we've already mm -hmm. invested too much money into right. this. They lost 
basketball. Mm-hmm. I don't think Warner Brothers Discovery would have read up on AEW if they managed to keep the NBA. Maybe, maybe not, because they still have a stake. They have a, they supposedly have a stake in the company. So I think that they're just keeping Who, it. Who, uh, uh, AEW? No, Time uh, Time Warner. Oh. Or not, not Time Warner. Warner, Warner Brothers. Brothers Discovery. Has, has the stake in AEW? Yeah. They do have a stake in AEW. Well, that's the, the rumor. The rumor mill is yeah. that Meltzer has the stake in AEW. No, too. there's there's rumors that Warner Brother Discovery also has. Stake oh, I thought in that AEW. was I thought that was confirmed. No, it oh. was not. Oh, okay. It's heavily implied, but it's not confirmed. Oh, okay. I thought I thought that was an actual confirmation no. on there. Uh, I think Fightful might have dropped the ball. Uh, they have claimed Joseph the Demon as a pedophile. Mm-hmm. Uh, here is a problem. He is not. Uh, we have definitive proof that he is not. The name is wrong. The location is wrong. Everything is wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what this is? This is defamation of character. It's true. This is clear defamation of character. And Sap deleted his tweets, but guess what? When you put it out, it's on there it's forever. It's on the internet forever. Now, if this is true, the demon should sue. Yeah. He should sue because... the. What could you say? The, the worst thing you could say to somebody is that they are a child predator. Nobody likes child predators. No. But and if he lives here in Vegas, hey, give me a call. I have a great lawyer. He is a pit bull. He will annihilate them. So if you ever want to go at it 100%, let me know. Uh, we follow each other on Twitter. Oh, okay. So there we go. Uh, speaking of litigations. Yay. Woo. So... Rob Feinstein, we read his chat mm-hmm. um, uh, because he wants to be a snarky little shit and doesn't understand copyright infringement. I'm going to uh, leave this picture right here of him trying to meet a 14-year-old kid. Hey, Rob, I know you're going to watch this, so let me help you out here. Uh, if it's A little bit of background. I used the RF logo to mm-hmm. illustrate who this person is. Right. Because we need some context. Right. We'll give you some context on the significance of mm-hmm. Rob Feinstein in early tape trading and everything. He messaged me. Yay! He messaged me saying that he had no problem with the video. He 100% had a problem with the video. And he is pointing out that me using the logo in the way that I did was infringing on his copyright. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Let me help you out here. In the context that I used, your logo was for presentation. I had to explain to people with visualizations on who you are. Other than you trying to meet up a 14-year-old boy here, Robbie boy, I used it in the right context. You know why? Here is where infringement will come up. Commercial use without transformation. That does not apply within this situation because I'm not using your logo for commercial use. Well, it is. No, it, it is. It, we're monetized. We're it's being used for commercial purposes. But yeah, but, we're, there, but we're meaningfully transforming the video I itself. Used, yeah, but I also use the logo in the that transformation right. context. We were commenting on... On the logo, right? What it was, right? I'm not saying that we, we were adding substantial commentary. To yes, it. we were adding the commentary to it, and even though the videos are being monetized in every technicality, we're not using the logo no. to monetize. No, no, yeah, we're just using it as a visual present. You're just using it for visual. It's it's the physical representation of your tape library trading, right. you dumb fuck. Uh, we're not, we, we commented on it. We talked about the logo. Why are we using this logo? Because this is the representation of the company. This was the backdrop mm-hmm. that he used for these. We were talking about it. Yeah. You know what that means, Robbie boy? That is using it in commentary. Yes. We weren't criticizing it because it's there, but we were using it in a commentary way. Yes, and that's pretty much all that we need to talk about that way. Yeah, we're not. We didn't use it for sponsorships. We didn't impact the market on it because right. those would be in a proper context for mm-hmm. copyright infringement. Yep. We never did that. Right. Also, we never claimed that we made the logo, we used the logo, we are not representing it for Make Pro Wrestling Majestic again. We said that it was your logo. Mm-hmm. Verbatim, we said that if you have seen this backdrop, which was the backdrop, this is 
his company. Right. We gave you credit yeah. for it. You know what that means? You have no purpose of a messaging me or trying to take down the video. If you try to do it, Rob, I will guarantee you, you will hear from my attorney. Anyways. Try me. Also, by the way, you told me that I had until 8 p.m. to respond to you. This is before 8 p.m. on every time zone. Please do something. If you're going to do it. He's not going to. I don't think he's going to do it. Because, because everything that I said was true. We used it in a transformative way. Yeah. We are protected under fair use to yeah. do that. So I know you like 14-year-olds. I'm not that. <laughs> and trust me, my lawyer is not that. So I know anybody over the age of 16 makes you physically sick to your goddamn stomach here, Rob. But stop threatening me. And I know you've done this with other creators. But don't do it with me. Because I ain't going to tolerate it. Okay. <sighs> Ready? Yeah. Done? Oh, I feel better. I even see a cigarette. When we come back, Peanut Gallery has We're gonna some We're going to talk new about some stuff. Yes.